ับเฮ้ how are ya uh, my name is Brad I'm 32 years old at the time of this recording and I'm gay um, and this is willing warrior there are, there have been two there have been two things on my mind lately kind of rolling around and I realized today that they're actually part of the same issue so I wanted to do a vlog about it um, I rem I started thinking about one of the things after I saw a video um, of this young man that I'm subscribed to on YouTube, Samo Storm. Um, I think it's this is something we all can relate to. This well, we all I should say, if you are a gay male who has probably most of us have tried to give blood, then we can relate to this because women aren't going to have this problem. So, um, us gay men out there, uh, you'll remember this moment. Hey guys, um, I just want to make a quick video. I'm kind of upset right now. Uh, today my school was having a uh, blood donation drive and I wanted to donate blood. Uh, so I went and I signed the form and read the little pamphlet and everything like that. And then they took me into this little back room and then they asked, they gave me this questionnaire to fill out. And I felt it out, and I had questions such as, like, have you ever, uh, like, done any needle drugs? Uh, have you ever had, uh, been diagnosed with HIV or syphilis? Things like that. And, uh, one of the questions was, have you ever had sexual contact with a male since 1977? And I answered yes, and then I filled out the questionnaire, and I called the nurse over, and then she, uh, came and reviewed the answers, and then she saw the fact that I had sexual contact with a male since 1977 and she said well, I'm sorry but you can't donate blood and I said why and she said well you had sexual contact since a male or with a male since 19 or you've had sexual contact with a male and I said but so what and apparently just and I understand that gay people used to be gay cancer and all that fucking bullshit and I understand that, but I don't have AIDS. I haven't had sex in a year and a half, and I'm not allowed to give blood to help people, to some help maybe save someone's life because I had sex with a man. I can't, there was no one in that blood drive, and I went there to go give blood, and I'm not allowed to give it because I'm gay. Or not because I'm gay, because I've had sexual contact with a male. I just don't see the point in that. I don't see it just is retarded to me. It's stupid to me. And perhaps they do it to save money because it would be expensive to test. But it even says that every single time that blood is donated, they have to test it anyways. So what is the point of saying that I can't even donate blood because I've had sexual contact with a male? I don't know, I just, it's, it's stupid, it really is stupid, I could have helped someone, but no, I can't, because this world believes that it's still gay cancer. Whatever. Hopefully one day I'll be able to help people. Uh, the most important part of that vlog, for me, is right here. Is <laughs> this world believes that it's still gay cancer? Whatever. Hopefully one day I'll be able to help people. Okay, do you see what happens when he realizes and he says whatever? Hopefully one day. That dismissal is something that I know from myself uh, that I felt and I know it's it's pretty much universal because it's almost like it's a force that we can't fight 
and it's one of those things we feel we have to give into and it is that kind of whatever feeling that hurts and it's really belittling I think to have to be or to be put in a position where we just say well whatever that being said uh, the recent news with Enda all the debates about ENDA, the Employment Non-Discrimination Act uh, by Barney Frank. Just today it made the news that the HRC has now decided to support ENDA, uh, not including transsexuals and transgendered uh, in the act. And it's been a big item of debate, and I'm sure you all know what I'm talking about. Hopefully you all know what I'm talking about. Uh, if you don't, I'm going to put a link down below. It's, it's a really touchy subject, you know, and uh, I, I'm so mixed about it as well because I do understand that there are steps that need to be taken. Um, I do understand that it's, you know, a milestone in the efforts. But the reason I do this vlog with the other story is because for me it's kind of the same thing. I don't think that it was handled well. Um, I don't think, it, it, it's hard to just completely disregard people or to feel like someone is being completely disregarded is hard. And I don't think it was handled correctly by the HRC. They just stepped forward, cut all other gay groups out, joined arms with other civil liberty groups, and decided to take a stand saying that yes, we agree with moving forward. And I think if I were transgendered, it would be one of those instances where I would feel the same way, if not worse, but the same way as if I was being told that I couldn't give blood. As if what I have to contribute and who I am is somehow diseased. And we justify and we say, well, there are reasons for this and reasons for that, but to be completely disregarded out of this act right now, it's not democracy. And it's it's leaving behind the most, I don't want to say helpless, but the, the smallest demographic, and I guess I would say the, the weakest demographic and the most underrepresented demographic uh, at this point to fend for themselves. And it's hard because we do need these milestones. It would be a wonderful milestone, but it's not enough. And so to just move forward without that delicate balance of really reaching out and really making strong statements of inclusion, it just feels like another, well, whatever moment. And it's a horrible thing to make someone say and to make someone feel about themselves, is that they're simply excluded and whatever.